Hey guys! Since I got tons of requests to do a flip through my sketchbook and art journal, I decided to give you a quick tour through all the art journals we filled together in the Art Journal Thursday so far. Don't forget to make sure your notifications are turned on by clicking on the bell and by adjusting the settings. And for a chance to get a shout out and to win arts and crafts supplies in my ongoing giveaway, comment below hashtag notification squad in the first 24 hours. All right. So the first sketches we did together were these watercolor plants where we talked about all of the things we shouldn't forget to enjoy because all these small things make our lives so much happier and better. Next we have the Zendangle and Doodle art where we were focused on just enjoying the process. And whenever we felt like it turns out bad, we had to remind ourselves that it's okay to not stress about it to see how it will turn out in the end. And because I'm a cat person, we also created these cute cat doodles just to have fun. In the episode afterwards, I did a collab with Amanda Rich Lee where we created a motivational poster for you guys that you could download. I chose the quote, everything happens for a reason because I like to think that everything that happens in life is there to teach me something, to make me grow as a person through bad and good times. I was also inspired by different tattoo artists and tried to design a simple drawing featuring a bird, the moon and a few floral details. But we also did a few challenges. I tried to paint with pomegranate, which was pretty difficult but fun. And I also did the realism challenge where I recreated the Sailor Moon watch with watercolors. It was pretty fun and I was happy with the result. Next we have a few simple watercolor doodles I showed you that you can try out. And we also did a three hour long live stream where you guys helped me to draw this painting with a quote inside. Whatever the mind conceive, it can achieve. Next, I showed you how to paint different sunsets. I really like to paint the sky and the ocean because it's so relaxing. What is your favorite thing to paint? Comment down below. And to get super creative, I tried the blob challenge where you have to create random blobs of color and then when they dry, you have to look at the shapes closely to decide what you could create with them. For some reason, I saw someone dabbing twice. No idea how this could happen. Next, we have a painting with different nebulas. I painted with cheap watercolors. And since a lot of you requested it, I showed you how to paint different planets as well. Next, we have the Mona Lisa with a red lipstick. This was a real challenge for me because I painted her with watercolors and it was really difficult, but I kind of like it now. And we also painted fluffy cotton candy clouds with watercolors and you guys seem to really like this tutorial, which is really great. And lastly, in this art journal book, I showed you guys how to paint a fall scenery with watercolors. You usually don't see it, but sometimes I test out different techniques and ways how to paint something before I actually show it in the tutorial. This was the very first art journal we filled together. Sadly, one painting was missing here, but I will link every video in the description box below. For my second art journal, I switched to a smaller size because I felt like it's less overwhelming than filling a big page. For the first page, I chose a quote again to remind myself that amazing things will happen. Another painting I did that I haven't made into a video is painting to music. One of my A-level exams was painting to music and I really enjoyed it. I wonder how would you interpret the music I was listening to when I painted this artwork. Next we painted this waterfall scene in the forest with acrylic paint. You guys seem to really like it as well. And then I decided to start this series where we recreate famous paintings and of course I had to choose the starry night because it's one of my favorites. And this recreate painting is still by far one of my favorites. Next I showed you a simple acrylic painting technique to create abstract art. You only need acrylic paint and a plastic cart. Another famous painting we recreated was by Monet. Here I used acrylic paint and I really love how it turned out. Next we have a simple winter scenery because at this time it was winter. This was just a random page I wanted to test something out. And since it was Christmas time I also wanted to show you a ton of different doodle ideas inspired by winter and Christmas that you could use for your bullet journals or somewhere else you like. And since New Year's Eve was just around the corner, I wanted to celebrate it with a firework painting. So many of you guys recreated it and I was so happy to see your results that you shared with me. Next, I did another challenge where I recreated one painting using two different watercolor sets. A cheap and a more expensive one. Another fun challenge I did was where I turned myself into different animated styles. 
Sometimes these types of challenges really help to spark your creativity again because it changes something in your everyday routine. Next we have the skyline that was inspired by Sailor Moon. So many of you guys recreated it and I'm happy you liked it as much as I did. Here you can see a lot of different sketches where I tested out a few techniques and ways to paint something. As I said earlier, you guys don't really get to see this much, but in my next original tour, you will get to see even more behind the scenes testing. And next we have another famous painting because I love Van Gogh's style a lot. Here I used acrylic paint to recreate his style and I was really happy with the result. And we have more sketching and testing. And another famous painting we recreated was this great wave that I recreated with watercolors. And since lots of you guys requested more acrylic painting tutorials, I decided to show you how to paint this cherry blossom scenery. I really like the way it turned out. Lastly, you can see even more pages where I tested out different ways how to paint something, such as the first version of the skyline scenery that I showed you in the tutorial. And these were my two originals that are full now. The third one is almost full, so let me know in the comments below if you would like to see another tour in the future. A huge shout out to Chetana Saha. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up to support this channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and to click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video on Thursdays and on Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.